You shouldn't be messaging a guy telling him to come and hang with you. That's not modest. A woman doesn't move to a man. A man's supposed to move to a woman if you want to talk about modest, okay? okay. Well. Then she she says that she never date people who have got kids. She got catfished by a guy, right, who was homeless. She moved him into her house and he had two kids. Mama. I'm just, I'm just, all no. I'm doing, all I'm doing is highlighting the hypocrisy. That's all I'm doing. I'm just highlighting the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. She, she gives out information when she knows that that information is not facts. How do you mean? So for example, she was talking about um, something and I think it was uh, Destiny who told her, no, that's actually not true. These are the real stats and that's false information you're putting out. She was like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. A couple of weeks later, she relayed the same stats again, mm -hmm. knowing full well that that's not the correct information. So that indicates that you are a liar. She's, she's a liar. What else? So you can't trust somebody who I've got what a whole list. No, Why have you been dating from Dutch? That three months you've not no, been no, on her. I'm you've been getting no, her. No, no, I'm going to explain <laughs> to you how I know all of this, right? So basically, after I went on her onto her show, um, a lot of females who had previously been onto her show made a group called Pearly Things Group. They wow. added me to the group. Okay, now all of these women was sending me information and telling me about things. So, so there was this one girl who she. She basically catfished onto onto her podcast. Okay, this girl came and onto her podcast. Slow, yeah, her name her name is Amy. I can say her name now. Before she wasn't, she didn't want to reveal her identity, but now she's actually raised money to take Pearl. To I court. saw her. I saw that girl. Is it that girl with the black? It's got glasses or whatever. She's, yeah, she's just sitting there. And, I, I see her raising yeah. money. Did she, did she get the money? She got the oh, money. Ten grand. Huh? Yeah, she done a okay. GoFundMe page. They made a group. Right, and, they made um, a GoFundMe. No, nah, this is yeah. Wild. They made a go. She, yeah, people actually donated to her you because look, like. no, no, this is this is deep stuff, you know. This so is it's deep stuff. But it sounds this like that Facebook group that girls have where they say they want to find out whether they're dating the same guy. Is it is there a group like that? Yeah, there's there's there's, there's a group. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I and I know a few yeah. guys that are on it. Yeah, it's crazy. Girls have got a group. So basically, this woman, she contacted me and she told me that she basically got catfished onto Pearl's podcast. She went on there not knowing what it was about. She went into the podcast. Pearl started asking her all of these questions. And I think she asked her what your body count was. The girl shouldn't have answered that question because I wouldn't answer that question. I wouldn't advise say? any girl. I, I don't oh, know. Okay, cool. I didn't watch it. I don't know. But I know that the girl was basically, she, so she's, she's, a, she, she's a carer for her mother who is severely ill. She is depressed, she's on medication, and she's suicidal. She literally begged Pearl not to put this podcast out, and she said to her, look, I'm actually thinking of committing suicide, and I'm a carer for my mother. My mother needs me. Please don't. I didn't sign any contracts. I didn't give any permission for you to put anything out. Pearl didn't care. She didn't care. She still went and put the footage out and said to her, she said to her, I don't care and I'm still putting the footage out. So now the, the woman was scared at the beginning because she was saying uh, Pearl is powerful and she's she's rich whatnot and whatnot. But after she saw me go onto her show, it gave her a bit more confidence. And I supported her. I was supporting her throughout her stuff. She set up a GoFundMe page and then they funded her. They gave her the money. Now she's gone and she's, she's able to get a solicitor and she's got a case against Pearl, which is, I don't know if it, she's saying that's one of the reasons why Pearl's left the country. But I don't know. I can't speak on something that I'm, I don't know 100% about. But I do know that ca that Pearl has got a case against her. I do know that she got she got a case against her now. What you said, Pearl? Oh, what, oh, wait. Got a case? Oh, wait, oh, wait, she's absconded with, with the Suge Knight money. <laughs> no, and also, <laughs> like, oh, also, um, there's so many things. There's so, no, so this many is, this things. Is your wait, hold on, hold on, wait. There's so many Hold on, wait. Awesome. She's, so her issue is that she declared her body count, which I'm assuming is high. And it Pearl still pull it out. It must have been, yeah. And no, she's saying she's saying basically that she was invited to the show by a guy, and the guy didn't tell her oh, the true context <laughs> of the show. She didn't know basically what she was coming into. Yeah, the but show then, for. but what did she say that was so bad that she wouldn't want I to be think, aired? I think, I think, apart it from was her, her body high count. body count. Yeah, I it think, must it, have I think so? it was her body so? count. You don't understand what it's like when you're on Pearl's show and those clips go out. And the yeah, especially and the yeah, like, yeah, you have to yeah. be ready for them. Yeah, if you're not, you know, if you're a weak person, yeah, you can't handle that, and you can't handle that. You people can commit suicide. Are you the reason that a good friend of ours now does the security for her podcast? Yes, I am the reason why he does security. What up, Kirk? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, big, big, man, big man, big man. And then um also she um the kind of people she invites onto her podcast like that, Nick Fuentes, um, Sarah Garvey, Banksy, she invites all of these racist people onto her podcast. Like, why would you want people like that on your podcast? 